Hello and welcome to Fedora Linux. I'm using the Mate desktop and I'd like to introduce you to Variety, the best wallpaper changer for Linux, in my opinion. This is the source page for the product, and uh, Variety is an open source wallpaper changer for Linux. And I want to show you why I think it's the best one. It's simple, fast, easy to use. It has a lot of features and the scope of this video is not to show you all of them, just the basics. And I'd like to encourage you to consider using it as well. So to install it, I'm going to open up the command interface. Let's go ahead and install that. Tell the package manager to install. We have to use uh, administrative credentials. Tell DNF the package manager to install Variety and press enter. And we'll go ahead and install all the files needed for this. Okay, the program is done installing. And now it'll be on the uh, Applications menu. And here we see Variety. So I'll click on it, and the first thing it does is has a welcome screen, and it shows you what the icon's going to look like down on the system tray at the bottom right. In this area near the clock and the date. I'll continue. Read the privacy notice, accept, and continue. Okay. Like I said, this uh, I'm not going to show all the features, just the basics. Starting at the top here, uh, we want it to start when the computer starts. So if you leave that checked, it's going to put um, itself into this startup programs list, and here we can see there it is. That way, when you, the user logs on, it will. Uh, it'll automatically run. By default it's set change it every five minutes that's fine and uh, I like to have a new one when I start the program so we'll check that. These are the sources where it downloads uh, images and uh, for example this Google Earth I don't particularly care for uh, satellite shots of the Earth so I'm gonna go ahead and uncheck that so we can eliminate that and here on the bottom when I did that it shows you all the files that it had downloaded from that site to uh, in order to show so it rotates through these uh, sources and all the images they download you can also do things like uh, let's say you want to add your uh, pictures folder so we can go uh, folder and then pick uh, pictures click add and now we can see I can add my photos folder, pictures folder, um, as a, a source as well. Now, um, it's going to rotate the wallpaper, of course, and you'll see many images. And if you see one that you particularly are fond of, you can uh, right-click the icon down here and uh, copy to favorites and when you do that it's going to put it in this folder here dot config variety favorites we'll take a look at that real quick dot config variety favorites and uh, since I did that that particular image there it is so that way it can be backed up uh, and restored when necessary you don't want to lose your favorite images okay effects I don't do anything in here but uh, uh, a person may want to have a digital clock or wise quotes show on the screen and I think the only other thing I change in here is the theme right now it's kind of hard to see the icon down here on the system tray so I'm going to change the theme to dark so it shows up better and click close now I don't like this particular image on the on the on the uh, background now, so I'm going to right-click on the variety icon and click next. And here's the next image. Now the reason it's uh, it's not very clear is because I have I'm using 
boxes uh, virtual machine and it's always trying to uh, be transparent to show uh, my actual host operating system so I haven't figured out how to uh, fix that yet so that's why the images are basically faded let's say I want to go back and to that first uh, image I right click on on the variety icon and click previous and I don't like it so I want to delete it so I right click on the icon and I click delete to trash let's say I like this particular image here I can right click variety and um, I can see this is the name of the image that I'm um, looking at and this is where it comes from this one happens to be installed in Fedora Linux now this one is most likely downloaded so if I want to know where it's from I can right click image where is it from and it'll open up the uh, preferences window and highlight the source in blue here and uh, that's a nice feature as well now Flickr is where that photo came from and uh, you can see down here it showed a bar of photos and these are all from Flickr so it's going to uh, rotate from all the pictures from all these sources but uh, the one that's highlighted and the one that's on the background is the the one on the bar down here at the bottom with the red line over it and these are all the images it's downloaded from Flickr as well that it'll rotate through if I don't like a, an image I can come up right click click image and then set the uh, rating five star to one star or rejected I can pause on the current photo if I want to look at it and inter interrupt the uh, five minute rotation if I right click and click history I can see all the uh, background images that I've uh, been shown in the order they were shown and the one with the red line is the current one that it's on and to get that to go away you right click and uncheck history and that is the basic features it's a very nice wallpaper rotating application and in my opinion it's the best that I've seen it's simple and effective and it has a lot of nice photos and the uh, I particularly like the ability to uh, keep a copy of the the most favorite images in the favorites folder I hope uh, you enjoyed the introduction to variety if you didn't know about the application um, download it install it and try it out I think you'll like it better than any other uh, background rotating program. Thanks.